Hi, John. Eric. We're in need of a big beer. Apparently. And I decided, what better beer to do than this? I think this is the biggest beer I have. I don't know. I don't know if Black Tuesday this year, uh, ABV-wise, is higher than this. This is... I'm glad we checked. Yeah, we did. Uh, we probably should have drank Black Tuesday first, but... Um, this is Mocha Wednesday. This is from the brewery. This is a bottle that was um, purchased, uh, well, I purchased it from a society member, Baru, who is not here, the decent guy. And this is 19.4% alcohol by volume. It's just a little bit. Yeah, it's just a little bit of alcohol. And uh, if you don't know what Mocha Wednesday is, we'll get into it here. It is basically Black Tuesday, so an imperial... Massive Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels. It's Black Tuesday with shit in it. Yeah, it's got cacao nibs, and I think it's por- Portola? Is that what's it named? Yeah, yeah that's Portola what is, that's what is, oh, coffee. That's coffee. Yeah, and then the TCHO cacao, cacao nibs. nibs that they always do, and they're really, really good. I, I like I like pretty much every brewery beer that I've had with uh, the Black Tuesday base. We've had, Mo- uh, we've had Grey Monday. On the show, we've had what else? Chocolate rain. Chocolate rain, which is outstanding. So, if this is anything like those, we're in for a damn treat. So, chocolate rain is like one of my favorite beta beers of all time. Yeah, yeah. We should have probably just brought a, a IV pool, but didn't think about it. Uh, this one did pour out that like cola thin, brewery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could thin definitely stout. see through it as yeah. you're pouring. It, it did not look viscous in the glass, though. It does look pretty opaque. There are some like. Ruby tobacco-y, hueish browns. Yeah, it's off not like the sludgyish, like staining no. the glass. No, but um, there's alcohol legs for days. Well, it's twenty percent there, Eric. Yep, pretty much. Uh yeah. Let's. There's not much else to say about the appearance. There's quickly dissipating. I don't know. Like, it looks like a poorly carbonated beer. But how do you carbonate twenty percent? Mm-hmm. So let's get into the nose. Why don't we? And thanks, Baru, for picking this one up and uh, letting me buy it off you, buddy. Uh, surprise! It's not just, fajita town. No, not fajitas, which is always a good. I get like coffee. tons and tons and tons of uh, like barrel it's character, barrel character, and then coffee. cocoa, and then coffee. Mm-hmm. Right? It's actually well integrated. There is this rich booziness though that mm-hmm, I do sure. like that we do like in this, some of our bigger beers. Yeah, it's not a fusel booziness. No, 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 no. It's, it's a key quality bourbon, really. Oak, tons and tons of freshly like oak, empty yeah. oak barrel. Oak and then that nice vanilla yeah. going into the chocolate. Yes. Going into the coffee roast. Yes. Uh, but you can just smell like the, the, the... It's like the spirit... Kind of like when you walk into Central Water's barrel room in a way. Oh, yeah, because the floor it's just all, smells, smells like, like wet oak. Smells like wet Yeah. I don't know. I think it smells great. How about you? Are you a fan? It smells pretty good. Doesn't smell too sweet. I mean, it doesn't smell like sugar. No, it doesn't smell like straight sugar, like molasses, like a Dark Lord is a really solid example of something that just smells like sugar. I hear this year's is better. Yeah, apparently. We'll try to get one for the show. I don't know where. I dep- apparently you can trade Darkness for one, but I don't have Darkness to trade, so. All right, well, let's drink it. Cheers. Cheers, Brew. Cheers to all of you. I was going to solo dome the shit out of this one night, but... Against my better judgment. Um, Let's hope for all of us that he would have recorded that. Cool. Oh, yeah. That would have been on camera. I should have just, like, did a time lapse of me solo doming this and Black Tuesday that back to back. Good. Oh, yeah. Have a puke bucket <laughs> next to me. You, yeah, you just lay on the table. <laughs> Start stroking. Way more oak forward. And honestly, really aggressive um, tannin. Really aggressive. Um, um, like over extracted almost. I was gonna say like an over oaked wine almost. Mm-hmm. Um, but you get this like it, sometimes tannins for me tannin character comes off really really dry. This tastes actually woody. Like you can actually taste mm-hmm. it. Feels like you're licking. When we're talking about splinters. wood. I talk about when you take a toothpick and you like chew on it for too yeah. long. This is soaked in bourbon though. And you can tell that they blended it to be that way, because mm-hmm. the tan, the heavy tanicness, really flows right in to the booze, Does. right? 
it the does. hot booze, which actually kind of almost feels panicky almost, just because of the heat. Yeah, and it almost cuts the actual boozy, aggressive heat character when you're swallowing. Um, what's nice, though, for me is, I don't know if you're getting this, there's some dark fruits present, too, with that oak and that whiskey. Kind of getting like this... Um, I would say the chocolate was more dominant on the nose than mm-hmm. it is in the mouth. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm getting like a currant... Um, like um, whiskey soaked cherry and then ton- a little bit of chocolate and a lot of coffee. And the coffee is coming forth kind of like in a... It's a pretty nice coffee. I wouldn't say it's yeah. the best coffee I've had, but I'd say it's... It's up there. It's top third. Yeah, it's a really well done coffee beer. Holy hell. Mouthfeel is definitely on the thinner side. Though I'm not sure at 19%, I would want viscosity. Well, I mean, the, I the problem at that, that age is, or that percentage is, how do you get the yeast to stay alive, right? right. Well, they use a super, I want to say they have They have a specialized yeast, yeast strain sure. that does these beers. Yeah, it's how Dogfish Head does one 20 minute. They yeah. have their well, own. Well, and that higher math, which I did not buy. Apparently that tastes like I had tank, it. It's way. awful. Yeah. Glad I didn't pick one up for review, but. Um, this is a tough one to grade. It, it... Honestly, this isn't my favorite one I've had. It wasn't either. I had it last summer with Barry and uh, Bianca and Marissa and company Joel. So if you're uh, if you're putting Black Tuesday on one side and calling that the OG base, yeah, and then you're putting Chocolate Rain on the other, and this is kind of it's fallen pretty much on the middle, maybe a little more towards the Black Tuesday, yeah, as opposed to like the sugar that you get. Eric didn't sound spun. Navi found something. Navi found some text messages. Uh, I, yeah, I, I think it, it, it's, it's not my favorite. Um, I like it more than the 2013 Grey Monday we had. Now, Fresh Grey Monday, I'm not sure I would put this over it. it. I think this blend in particular is a little too harsh on the oak for me. I don't get enough of the stout that I like. And that could just be what they had, right? Maybe they had a lot of tannic as hell beer. So you blend it down, but this is still what you get, right? Possible. Um, but I mean, we know that people, you can kind of blend out the tannicness. Central Waters is a really good example. Yeah, they 17, do 16 was awesome. Yeah. They decided, like they do, is to just mix it up a little bit. Yep. 17 was super tannic. Yep. And people did not like it as much as 16, yep. so they went back to a much more 16 style of blending. Yep. And that was and they killed awesome for 18. so freaking it's fantastic. So we great. had another one. Yeah. Last week, God, Jesus. and it was doing. We've been crushing those. It was doing it. Uh, yeah, that was probably one of the best beers of the night. You know, this for me, people are probably gonna crucify me for my grade on this one, but it's it's like a, a ninety three for me. I, and I think that's even high. Um, the problem when you rate these big ass beers is there isn't a lot of big ass beer to compare it to. Um, and there isn't a lot of these big ass beers that like other than their, you know, very cousins. Barrel aged beers. Yeah, you got brewery stuff. You got the Avery stuff. Goose Island and Avery are the next ones, and I'm not even fond of the Avery ones too much. Tweak to is pretty good. Uh, Tweak, I don't remember enough of. I mean, I remember liking it a lot, but I I bought Uncle Jacobs this year, and I was gonna film a review, and I sat down, I'm like, this is freaking whatever. Mm-hmm. So um, I think I think a 92 is what I'm settling on. Yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely deserving of an A level, but lower A is totally acceptable. Uh, and thirty five bucks. Ugh. Honestly, they could just pare it back. Yeah, six percent. Well, kind of like they did with shit, or so it happens. So it happens it's Tuesday, which we'll review eventually. If you just pare it back like six percent, hell, just pare it back like four, and you can like, you know, oatmeal too. it up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Just to improve mouthfeel, we're not. We don't need like SR thickness. We no. Just provide some body with your beer, right. which is harder to you do. You know, you know, and that's my biggest criticisms of most of most barrel aged beer in America. The biggest thing they all lack is mouthfeel and like texture and drinkability. Yeah. Barrel I'm not saying I want to drink. Place that ahead t- of all of that. Like I could dome a bottle of SR for sure. I don't. I still wouldn't want to because it's a beer you want to share. But like. Even thinking about doming a TG stout, or even like a heavy, really heavy stout, that doesn't sound great. I mean, those are meant to be shared. It's too much. It's like chewing on brownie batter for the entire bottle. And this is this is drinkable. I will say that. 
I, although I'm getting quite a bit of heat. I wish, uh, it wasn't aged in bourbon barrels, but I wish I had another bottle of that Evil Twin Bozo beer. I never had if it. If anyone had it, it was pretty good. That was 17 and change percent. And it had body, right? I drank it by myself on accident. It's okay, man. Um, we have those nights. I thought it was Playing like 10. Playing video digi games and it happens uh, quick. And that was, uh, that had coffee at it. It was... That hit the booze really well, and mm -hmm. was actually like a medium, maybe a medium plus. This is like medium thin on a good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thin um, plus on a bad day. Uh, did you, what'd you settle for a score? I'm going 92. I'd say 92. I, I was thinking like 93. Yeah, like a low yeah, A. Yeah. Not an A minus, but yeah, like cer a low Certainly a. not something um, I think I'll ever pay for again. Um, I know it trades well, and I know people seek it out. Um, but I, I, I'm starting to think that the brewery hype is starting to... It's, it's on the decline. Well, People I, still want their annual the Black Tuesday. The brewery hype is on the decline because they've increased the production. That's all. You're right. They don't even wax Black Tuesday anymore. Black still Tuesday. Still waxed. Um, I know. My Black Tuesday downstairs has got foil. Yeah, I think we'll settle for a 92. If you guys have had Mocha Wednesday, um, or if you've had previous vintages Mocha Wednesday, I think this is the 16. Yep. Um, comment below and let us know. Are we are we a little off on this, or is this something I think, that just... I think if it's something you haven't had, it's totally worth trading. I would also say, and California people are not going to want to hear it, go cash for cash, man. Yeah. It does cost a lot for them, but it doesn't cost you. Don't pay sixty bucks. No. Pay forty and or like forty and yeah. Throw on a rando local plus if you want. Yeah, I agree. Um, I agree. I think like barrel aged darkness is better than this. I'm just thinking local to local, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, you know, that's 20 and change, and this is 35 and change, but I still think I'd want more than a Mocha Wednesday for a Barrel Age Darkness. Definitely. That's just me. But all right, guys, we got to get out of like here. A silhouette? I think I would do a silhouette, this year at least. Had I not ever had it, for sure. It's totally worth trying. You're not going to be disappointed. Yeah. No, you, and, and um, if you go in on a bottle, I think if you if you have a friend or a couple friends who want to split the, the, the burden of a... You know, a ten dollar, and you all get a pour. It's a, you know, if you went and had this at the bar, it'd be twelve, thirteen. Right, bucks. and it's getting easier to get if you know a local friend who's got a society hookup. Yeah, then you just talk to them. Brewery's cranking out so many beers. I'm already feeling a lot of people do not bit. have the wallet to keep up. No, with their God, max, we, we've seen this with their max we've seen allocation. Some big hitters just being like, oh, my wallet's fucked this month. Oh, mm -hmm. brewery, thanks again. Yep. And it's just like throwing dollar bills so, out yeah. a window. If you have so. a friend, you just say, hey, man, if you ever don't max your allocation of stuff. Or do you want to recoup your bad decisions purchases on brewery sure, beers? Yeah. Are you feeling poor? We're here for you. All right. We got to get out of here. Uh, we'll be back soon, I guess. Cheers. <laughs>